Good day. I think I left off my video on my massive puzzle haul for spring by saying that I would take a closer look at what I got in that haul and what puzzles were there. So, but for now, I have them all kind of stacked up along the wall here. I kind of like making walls of puzzles. It makes it really fun when you're trying to decide which puzzle to do next, when you have a whole collage to look at. I had them stacked way up over here, but these ones came down one night on me, so they're just on the floor. So we're going to sort of sort them out a little bit and go through them in piles and kind of talk them about a little bit and give you a closer look at what I got. Okay, I'm going to start with Blanc puzzles. This is my selection of Blanc puzzles I got. Uh, these four here are 300 pieces. I would not normally purchase a 300 piece puzzle as I find they don't give me enjoyment for enough length of time. But because they came as a bunch and because I bought a lot, I have them and I think I will certainly do them and uh, see, maybe I will change my mind on 300s. But these Blanc puzzles have got very nice packaging and uh, very nice pictures. Here we have some hats surfing, lounging by the beach, and this looks to be a picture of Moscow. One thing I found very odd about these Blanc puzzles is there's no name on any of them. There's not a name as to what they are, where they are. It's going to be a little tough for me as I catalog them and try to record as I record every puzzle I do, so I have to make up names for them. These are my 500 piece puzzles. This one here looks like a, a European street scene. I'm not sure where this one might be. Let's just say that one's in Turkey or something. Could be wrong. Could be uh, Hawaii or Mexico. This one obviously is in Asia. I'm going to call it Thailand as my wife is Thai and I love Thailand. and I think I'll really enjoy doing that one. I like the look of that temple. I've done a number of these uh, ones with spices and jars and stuff and colors, and I'm getting to quite enjoy them. And we'll consider this one to be the Canadian Rockies. This one looks like it would be a little tougher, but I'm very much a fan of scenery puzzles, so I'm very excited about these. Here we have my 1000 piece. Looks to be a uh, Mediterranean village. Not sure. A farm of some kind, very bright. Maybe it's in Holland for flowers, I'm not sure. Looks to be a picture of Singtaire. Oh, nice and colorful, not sure where it might be. Looks as though this is, um, could be something in Russia or Ukraine or something. And a bit of a desert scene, maybe in Santa Fe, New Mexico or something like that. One of the things that really strike me about these is the packaging in the boxes. Just a really nice finish on the boxes. Open from the side, magnetic catch on the edge, and they come with their own zipper bag, which is very nice, and a poster, which is not surprising. Um, for those who don't know, Blanc Puzzles is actually a division or is actually part of Buffalo Puzzles. So that would explain sort of the poster as Buffalo Puzzles usually have posters as well. But nice, it's a, little, it's a plastic bag, but it is a, it's its own sort of Ziploc bag, so you don't need to add your own. So that is the Blanc Puzzles. As it turned out, when I went to look at the rest of my collection, I found I already had a Blanc Puzzle. I haven't done it yet. I'm thinking because it's 500 pieces. And like I say, I don't usually go below a thousand pieces, but there again, now that I look at it, I really like the picture of this one here. And I'm guessing this is to be from Seville in Spain. I think looks to me as a place I visited many years ago when I was young. So that's what I'm gonna call this one. So those are the Blanc puzzles. So let's see what else we got. This is my pile of Gibson puzzles. I have five of these. Check my cabinet. I had one previous, but I haven't done yet. But uh, I've not done a Gibson, so uh, 
I will actually be doing a review on each of, or one of each of these types of puzzles as I do them, just and give you my opinion on them, which may help you decide if it's a puzzle that you wish to purchase and do or not. So with these here, this one here is called Road to Dunkirk. Actually quite excited about that one as my father was a World War II veteran, not in the Air Force, but it will give me nice memories of him while I do that one. This one's called, I think, Salcombe, Salcombe Harbor. Uh, curious Kittens. Granddad's Workshop. Doesn't look like mine. Mine's a mess, but uh, looks like a nice place. I am a grandfather. And this one is Beads and Buttons. So these will be fun to do. And looks like I found one more Gibson puzzle in the pile. Called I Love Winter. It's not exactly my sentiments, but fun puzzle. So we'll put it with the other Gibsons. Here we have some puzzles by Cloudberries. <clears throat> Here's another company I've never done one of their puzzles. A friend of mine online, Vicki Clifford with Vicki Makes and Build, has assured me that I will really enjoy these puzzles as they are wonderful puzzles to do. The artwork is really interesting, and I should say artwork because it is artwork as opposed to landscape or scenery, which has been my go-to for many years. The nice thing about buying puzzles in large bulk from somebody, you find yourself purchasing puzzles that you may not buy if you're buying them individually from a retail outlet. So, helps me expand my horizon. So, I am looking forward to doing these ones. And I will do a review on a Cloudberry when I get to it. Here we have some Ravensburgers five in total. The first three here are a series called Then and Now. Uh, this appears to be New York City. Uh, I'm guessing this one to be Paris, considering it has an Eiffel Tower. And this one here, let's just assume, oh, with the red buses, we're going to say that that is Piccadilly Circus in London. So near Venice Canal, this one is kind of funny as I've already done this one and already have it. It is a puzzle that I was given to me by my sister last summer, only once I got it to discover it was missing a piece. Did it, didn't realize it till I was found, till I did it, it was missing a piece, so now I have it complete. So it will get sold, I probably won't do it again. And then this was one that was thrown in for free because it also was missing a piece. But I did it up because I am a huge fan of the Beatles and I grew up in that era. Euro graphics. Here we've got a couple, one on a Volkswagen van. I never had one, but I knew friends that did have one when I was younger. Older cars, interesting to do. Ice cream truck. This one I'm really looking forward to. I mentioned earlier that I'm a fan of the Beatles. Well. I am a huge, was a huge fan of John Lennon, and still am a huge fan of his music and who he was. So there's a very good chance that once I do this one, this one will get glued and framed and put on my wall. White Mountain Puzzles, Mount's Craft Room, Statue of Liberty, a Writer's Desk, Sunny Barn, and words of wisdom. I've done White Mountain before. I enjoy them. They are random cut pieces are a little on the large side, but they work just fine. Jan van Hasteron, 500 piece. These are interesting. I've never done one before. So got two, three, four of them. I have actually done this one already because as you can see, it's missing a piece. I did it because I wanted to try out a new glue I bought for gluing puzzles. And I did it because if the glue wasn't any good, then I didn't lose anything. As it turned out, the glue is great, but now the puzzle's glued with a missing piece, so it will probably end up in the recycle somewhere. Now the collection gets into a real mismatch of odds and ends. Here we have one Haya puzzle, 
Haya, I believe it's pronounced. This one's unopened. Actually, funny story with that one is the person I bought them from. So the reason that one's unopened is, is that she bought two the same. So gave me that one, didn't feel like doing it again. We have a 1500 Clementoni, a Cobble Hill, Vermont Christmas Company, Irresistible Italy, a Buffalo Puzzle, North America Wonders Map, 2,000 pieces. I think I'll enjoy doing that one. This so one, an Ebo, never done an Ebo before, 500 piece round puzzle. Well, that should be interesting. This one here, I believe somebody asked me what this one was in an earlier video. It's a thousand pieces. Uh, this is Flame Tree Publishing. Never heard of it before, but uh, seems packaging is nice, box is nice, and seems to be a nice sized piece, fairly thick. So we'll see how that one goes. Here we have a thousand piece puzzle on with birds on it. I believe, yes, this is a Gallison. This one here, I really like the picture on this one here, the artwork. This one here is Potter Puzzles. A couple of Joy Mountain Peak Puzzles. This one here, I can't really figure it out. It says it's imported into Canada by HI. So either way, we'll see how it goes. This one here, it looks like a cloudberries, but it's not. It is a, uh, oh, what is it here? Creative. This one here, I'm unable to find any kind of name of puzzle company on it. Just the artwork, but nice artwork by the fire. This one here is also quite nice. The packaging of these is very good. Indigo by Hobby, it looks like. Walmart, Paris at sunset, and this one's called Puzzle Crush. Then I have this here, Puzzle Up, which is wooden puzzles. These are really interesting. I've actually done this one already. They are round. They do match the picture. Uh, very unique cutting pieces. I don't think I'll open it up, but... Uh, I was going to do the second one right away, but then I stopped myself and decided I'll wait and I will do it, do a video on that and do a review. One thing I do like about this is I did check it out and Puzzle Up Puzzles is a family business in Ukraine. So actually if you buy one of their puzzles now, I believe they're being shown online at half price with the money going to support people in Ukraine. So. I didn't buy this directly, but indirectly, I feel I've helped the people of Ukraine a little bit, so it makes me feel good when I do it. Okay, kind of try to finish up here. Here we have some of the larger puzzles. This one here is very interesting, an Educa 1500. If you look at this, the picture may be somewhat familiar. It looks to be sort of landmarks of the world. And if I bring this over here to my large puzzle corner where you find my 42,000 piece puzzle and you see landmarks of the world we are this fits very much this picture here is the same as right here so this will be a nice little lead-in to do this one before I start the big one probably give me an idea what it's gonna feel like when I do it so Excited for that one. Here I got a couple of, uh, these were thrift store puzzles. Something very interesting about these, especially this one here. Uh, open it up here, they came with an elastic only. Uh, it was loose in a bag, so I put it in a bag. But one of the things that I found interesting about this one is there was also another small bag inside. And when I look very carefully, it has two pieces which appear to be identical, separate, bagged separately. So, I'm guessing there's something wrong with the pieces in this puzzle, whether there's two extras or it's short or two different ones. Don't know. 
Never done an Antillean. Have one in Thailand. I haven't done yet, so this may be the first or the one in Thailand. Not sure. This one here is called KS Games, about 2,000 piece puzzle. This one is also loose with uh, elastic around it. I've bagged that one. Um, that one, I tried to figure out where it's from. It appears to be a Turkish puzzle made in Turkey. This one here, this Educa 4000, this one is very strange the way it's been repackaged. Whoever packaged it, repackaged it in sections of some kind on paper. It doesn't, doesn't nothing's been glued, but I'm not sure quite what they were after or doing because it's not all done that way. That is, unless they did part of the puzzle, gave up, and just put it back in a box that way. Either way, that's of no advantage to me, because I don't... I start a puzzle from scratch, so... We will take the time to take that completely apart and start again. A falcon puzzle here, 5,000 pieces. This one has an elastic on it, and it's taped, so I think I'll just... I can tell it's loose, but I think I'll just leave it as is. Same with this treffle puzzle here. It is taped, but I can tell it is loose. I do enjoy treffle puzzles, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. So these are the larger puzzles I got in that collection. And then the last ones were just a selection of buffaloes, a couple of Charles Wysockis, a Vivid, an Amy Stewart, and a few others. There's another couple of Charles Wysockis, a Daryl Bush, uh, these work very well for me to take to Thailand, so I've already got a container out, so we will put those in there right away, as we know we won't be doing them here in Canada because of the small boxes. They're perfect to take to Thailand. So that's the puzzles I got in my massive spring puzzle haul. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. And... Uh, we we'll hope to have some videos out for you as we do some of these puzzles. Some of them we will do reviews on if I have never done them before, or others maybe just straight time lapses. And if you have any ideas or anything you'd like to see in the way of a puzzle video, let me know and we'll give it a shot. With that, we'll leave it there and we will catch you in the next video.